Hello guys, this is Sonic Freak. Yeah, you know, obviously Sonic Freak, the king of games. United supporter. Alright, let you know, it's an early upload for tomorrow's match between United against Sheffield United. Prediction. I'm looking forward to tomorrow's match, big reason why. At the moment right now, Liverpool and Tottenham is playing. It's one all. hopefully it's still one all. If Liverpool and Tottenham draws today, we'd be six points behind them both in the league. Yeah, you wonder why you why you you should be worried about say six points behind. Don't worry. If we win tomorrow's match, we'd be three points behind. Again, we'd be three points behind Tottenham and Liverpool. And then this weekend Hopefully both of those teams draws, both Liverpool and Tottenham, and then we somehow will be busy in the, hopefully, finger cross will be in top four. Even fifth, all in the top four positions, and we'll be getting closer between Liverpool and Tottenham. We are basically giving those two teams under pressure right now, because they know when we are five points behind, we are not far for the top four. I'm not far for first place in the league. That's why we need to win tomorrow. We need to win against the Leeds. We need to win against Leicester on the 23rd. 23rd we've got Everton in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. So if we beat Everton, we through the semi-finals and then whoever we got in the semis. We don't know who we got as long as we beat Everton next week. I'm looking forward for to next week's match. I'm looking forward for Leeds this Sunday and Leicester on the train set. Oh and that's hopefully it's live on twenty seventh. Now let's start the prediction. Minute. I'm gonna start from the lineup all the way down as usual. The lineup I think is gonna be playing is David De Gea in in obviously in goals. There's be Luke Shaw, Harry Maguire, Victor Lindelof, and Arwan Biaska. And uh, I think this will be 4 4 2 Diamond or 4 4 or 4 2 3 1. But I think this will be 4 4 2 Diamond because from last week against City. Sorry, I forgot about that prediction. I'm sorry, I didn't forget about that rea reaction. I've seen the uh, highlights. Somehow we drawed. No, no. We are both tight teams is playing well last Sunday. But now sad prediction. David, Luke Shaw, Henry Maguire, Victor in Love and now one black. Then we Fred in the CDM. Scott McTomney, Paul Popper in the central midfields. Cam, obviously Bruno, and then the front tour partnership mash. Marcus Rashford and Mason Greenwood. I think it's a good idea, but if Ole put Martial in subs, we could play Martial in the next half against Champions as a super sub. Hopefully he scores. Finger cross. That's my formation. I will put typing down on the description di uh, description below. Don't worry, as long as you know. Now, the score prediction, I think it's going to be 3-0 against Sheffield United because they're doing poorly at the moment in the season, in this season, in the Premier League, because they haven't got Dean Henderson in goals anymore. Because last season, two seasons that Dean did play with Sheffield. Once, first season, obviously in the Championship, as Dean in goals. And then last season, he's in goals in the league. After Sheffield United got promoted to the Premier League. And hopefully we win. Hopefully it's going to be 3-0. Next is going to be a first goal scorer. It's a tough one. Our players. Will score. Any of our players like Bruno. Rashford. Greenwood. Martial. I, Paul Pogba. Fred. Mus Scott McTominay. I don't know who's gonna go, go and score first. And I think the first goal score, I think this will probably happen, it's gonna be Bruno. Reason why, I, 
because if we get a penalty, Bruno will obviously take it, or Bruno will score outside of the, of the box or inside the box. I don't know. That's why I think Bruno probably will score, and then probably be Marshfield or Marshall or Marshall or Greenwood, whoever gonna score. And then next one I. And then the man of the match is going to be Bruno, with a goal scored and a assist. With the key passes, is really good at that. And I know that he will do it. And also, in the description, description below, I have made my own, being honest, uh, yeah, kind of, but like, most I did all the rest of my own. I made a brand new merch. Sonic the Hedgehog as King of Games. The merch is be in the description below. Obviously it's for children, babies, men's, women's and accessories as well. It's going and also stickers as well. The description of my merch shop has been in, in the link below in in the dis dis uh, right here, in the description. I hopefully we win tomorrow. I hopefully we beat Leeds this weekend, because it's been first time ever, for the last few season, that we have a fault Leeds. Yeah, fine enough. Last season we did for Leeds, but it wasn't in the league. It's basically in the preseason. We fought against Leeds, and I'm looking forward to watch. Hopefully, we ho hopefully I watch the match this weekend, this Sunday, and it's basically the very first time ever since the last few seasons Leeds was in the league, and they have been in the league the last few seasons now until now. Well, hopefully, we beat Leeds because they are kind of doing well. Poor, they won tonight today. By five two against anything Newcastle. As long as we win tonight, not tonight I meant tomorrow night, and win against Sunday against Leeds. I'm looking forward, and if we win this week, hopefully we win next week, and then when we got the Liverpool next month. Hopefully we beat Liverpool as well. Because as long as we close to that gap in first place in the league, we might actually have a chance to win the league this season. Because we have the Champions League. We in the Europa League. We got Real Sociedad next month. I think it was next month or February, roughly. So be first time for Anand got face against his former club, United. He's doing well. I like Anna Yang, so not because he's young, he's not, not because he is talented, he's do got that potential in him. But I'm looking forward, we face against Real Sociedad. I'm not, I'm kind of nervous because we've got two legs that have to beat New Real Sociedad. But this season, Real Sociedad is doing well. They're in first in the La Liga, they're doing well right now, and they're going to be tough to beat. Yeah, fine enough. We are sure that I got ex Man Man City player David Silva. It's gonna be tough to beat. We are sure that, but I'm looking forward for a match. I'm looking forward we could beat, not beat. We are sure that, but also and then Yance come back home at the stomping ground when he made an impact at United when he was under Sir Alex. I'm looking for that match in the Europa League. Hopefully, we win and we find out who we got next in the round of 16s in the Europa League. Guys, can you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell? This is Sonic Freak. I am King of Games. Huge United supporter and future. Man United manager. When I do really well, if I do well at the apprenticeship with my mate, 
Nate. Ah, and then it's when being as one of the co as coach slash some games manage in the team. Hopefully, I get into UCFB. Can you guys once again like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell? Please help me to get to 100 subscribers. And anyone who also a YouTuber who does record or whatever, sub for sub. I subscribe you, you subscribe me back. It's fair. Sub for sub. I will help you get more subscribers, or you can help me get more subscribers. It's fair. Alright, this is Sony Freak. See you guys next time.